Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another episode of uh, Volunteer Patrol. And this particular episode was a uh, kind of a rookie mistake for myself. Uh, I was out on routine patrol, uh, it was dark, and I had uh, um, just come off of a toll road at an exit. And uh, it was a two lane, left turn lane. And I was in the far left turn and then I had a vehicle to my right. As I'm making the turn, I noticed a uh, gentleman sticking his hand out the window, waving at me. I said, all right, what's going on? And he continued to wave at, wave at me like he needed something. Uh, our patrol cars are marked uh, and we do have a light bar. Uh, however, you're not really paying attention. You can't tell that we are a non-law enforcement or not a deputy. So he's waving me down. I'm not sure what's going on. And he kind of motioned to, to follow him is what it appeared to me. So I begin, I get behind him and I'm calling out for a, uh, a deputy assist, unknown what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. At, at this point, it's just being, it's what we call a uh, flag down. So we will proceed probably about two miles down this road and we make a right hand turn into a uh, into a subdivision neighborhood and I'm still calling out I'm you know we're, we're heading this way uh, northbound on this particular road and then we turn right into the subdivision calling out these roads and I can hear a supervisor coming up on the channel what's what does the, the unit have the volunteer unit have and you know what's going on why is he calling out roads like he's in some sort of pursuit I wasn't again I was behind this particular person thinking that we have an unknown issue and I'm not a law enforcement officer I was not able to activate my lights to uh, indicate that he you know, needed to pull over so uh, he was just kind of driving along so we finally uh, we were, we're, I mean just snaking for this enter for this subdivision and uh, I can hear I've got two units coming I've got two deputies coming and finally this this vehicle pulls into the driveway about that time i i'm again i'm, I'm a several car leaks behind this vehicle didn't didn't know what was going on whatever the domestic you know that will happen um you know they'll wave down an all off or something again I have no idea they, they just waved me down so i'm several car lengths away from this house and i can see the house i see the gentleman um, uh, getting out of the car and I, then at that point I just see a female getting out of the car they don't seem to be any type of distress he didn't seem to, to need any law enforcement uh, I, I honestly no idea what, what's going on so uh, about that time I can hear the deputies are, are pulling up or, or just in are actually in the neighborhood I also I can, I can, you know, hear them say that they're in the neighborhood and uh I pull up to the house at this point and said, okay, something's not making any sense. Why do they need, uh, what, what were they waving me down for? So I pull up and, and you know, roll down my window and say, hey, sir, everything okay? He goes, yeah. He says, your overhead's wrong. <laughs> uh, so the rookie mistake there, the previous call, uh, it may have been a, a patrolling a, uh, a business check either in a mall or uh, in a shopping plaza or something we have what's called patrol lights a lot of you uh, a lot of you law enforcement officers don't know what this is it's, you know it's just a way to, to turn on your without any type of strobing effect it's just usually it's your end caps of your uh, of your overhead light bar and uh, and that's what he was actually pointing out that uh, hey dummy your overhead lights are on um, so at this point i've got two deputies coming i got a supervisor on the radio going what the heck is going on um at this point i am extremely embarrassed i am not about to get on the radio and go hey everything's 10-4 my dummy self left my overheads on and that's all he was waving me down for luckily for me the two deputies did arrive shortly after i i get done talking to the uh to the gentleman and I quickly get out and go, everything's fine. Uh, I am uh, super embarrassed. Uh, it was my fault. I, uh, he was just letting me know that I was, uh, you know, 
my dummy light was on. <laughs> and uh, they actually chuckled and uh, they said, yep, that's happened to all of us. This happens to the best of us. It's, unfortunately, you, in your situation, it looked a little worse because it, it looked like he was waving me down. So that was kind of my rookie mistake. Um, that, trust me, that'll never happen again. Actually, what we'll do uh, for our fellow uh, people in, in patrol cars, if we see somebody else with their patrol lights on, their steady burns on, we'll, we'll just simply holler up on the radio uh, on our uh, center console where our uh, control light controls are. Uh, there is a switch to turn that on and off, and then there's a dimmer just to, to the right of it. And uh, the light is a blue. You know, you can you can see it. However, the way I had my laptop situated, uh, it, it obscured the view of that particular, uh, particular light or that switch. So, um, it's a funny story. Um, luckily, the, the deputy was real cool. He said he was just going to send a, uh, a MDS message or basically a text message uh, between the uh, supervisor and the deputy, because I don't have that. And uh, was going to just simply let him know that everything was okay and. <laughs> and uh, not, not, I guess, tell the complete truth that everyone was okay unless you asked. So, hope you guys liked that story. Uh, continue to give me thumbs up. Continue to write comments uh, down below, and uh, I'll continue to put these up. Uh, probably looking about once a week right now, or maybe once every two weeks. Uh, I've got tons of stories, but I don't want to, uh, you know, tell everything off in, in the first you know, month or two months or. You know, first six months of the year here so uh, I want to continue to do this so uh, give me a like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one